Hey, worship leaders. So today we're gonna to be building a dual amp preset from scratch for the HX Stomp. And I've actually already made this preset that we're gonna be walking through and I love it so much, I've decided to include it in my Expanse pack. Now you may be thinking, what is this Expanse pack you're referring to? Well, what it is, is it's handmade presets that I've made specifically for worship leaders that once you purchase this Expanse pack, you get updates for free for life. So for those of you who have already purchased the Expanse pack, this is more like an announcement to go update it. All you have to do is go to the PDF instructions that you got on your original download and then follow the steps to get your free update. Now, this is important, so listen up. It will include the dual patch that we build today, and I've tweaked and updated all my previous presets after spending some time with the 3.0 firmware update. Now that we have more blocks, I've added some EQ and made some adjustments to make these things sound better. And we're not done yet. There's another new preset in there modeled after a Dr. Z amp, and I love that one as well, so I decided to include it in this update too. So you definitely wanna go check that out. Also, when I redialed in everything, I did so using my new toy, my Sennheiser HD 600s. Now these are amazing. They're comfortable, they sound good, they're open back so you don't get that closed in feeling and they just sound really good. If you're in the market to upgrade or you just wanna take a look at them, I'll link those below. But if you're wanting to purchase the Expanse Pack or at least read more about it so you know what's in it, you can go to heyworshipleader.com slash store, go check it out. I'll leave that down in the description as well. Now, I know I've done a lot of talking, but I got one more announcement. If you haven't heard, I'm doing a Christmas giveaway with this midi pedal designed specifically for the stomp. I made a video about it already, you can go check it out. I'll leave the link in the description so you can enter to win. Make sure you pay attention to all the details, do all the bonus entries so you have a higher chance of winning. And it ends soon so you don't wanna miss out. Now, let's dive into this patch build. All right, so here we go. Now remember we're building a dual amp patch. And so I wanted to use two different amps that we haven't used on any of the other presets in the Expanse pack. Let's use for the first amp, we're gonna use the matchstick. Channel one, we're gonna use a matchstick cab, the G25, we'll come over here, add our second amp. I wanna do a, a, the orange amp, watch that, the Mandarin 80. But for the cab, let's go back to the uh, matchstick, let's do the other matchstick. Where is it, the H30. And let's save our progress. Now, one quick thing, we're gonna to need to put these on uh, parallel paths, so you just wanna drag this down. Um, we'll scoot this over here. We'll move this in front of the amp. Now you're gonna want to um, take the A path all the way left, take the B path all the way right, come over here where they merge, pan this all the way A, pan this all the way, <laughs> pan that one all the way left, pan B all the way right. Let's save our progress. Now there is another trick that I've learned from some people on how to get a little bit more width. Let's take a delay, a simple delay, pull the feedback all the way down, the mix all the way up, and then the time, um, anywhere between 15 and 20, I like to do 19 because it's weird, we'll save that. We will put this on foot switch one so we can turn on and off and hear how it sounds. And yeah, let's see what we have so far. This is without that delay. Not bad. With the delay. Now if you're wearing headphones, it just got a lot wider. It sounds really good. I like that, let's save it. Now, when I was building this preset before, I put an EQ on the end, and I noticed when I was going between this preset and some of my other presets, this one was a lot louder, and um, I could mess with the channel volumes on the amps themselves, but I kind of tweaked them where I like them, and we're gonna get there in a bit. And so, I'm just going to paste in the EQ block that I used before, and let you see some of the settings. Uh, you can see what I did there, but I brought down the level quite a bit. Let's assign this to foot switch three so we can hear it. We can hear the difference. It sounds like this. It just brought the volume down a little bit. Now let's tweak our amps a bit. Let's go to this first amp. And we're gonna tweak these and we're gonna set parameter changes, not on a foot switch, but we're gonna call up the parameter changes via the snapshots. When we call up snapshots, parameters will switch. So that's different than how I've done any of my other presets. Let me show you how to do that. If you go over here to the bypass controller assigned tab, um, we're gonna want to mess with the channel drive. Now here's where you would select your foot switch, but we're actually gonna go all the way down here to snapshots. We also wanna do our cut, our cut. <laughs> We're gonna to wanna to do our treble, our presence, and our channel volume. Now you see when you come over here, all these have turned white, and so when we save these settings per snapshot, 
when we change snapshots, it'll go to those different settings, which is really cool. I also want to do the drive over here on the, um, the orange amp. So we're in snapshot one. I want this to be my cleanest tone. So as we go through the snapshots, they will get dirtier and dirtier. The drives and some settings will change. Now, I think the matchstick sounds pretty good at these levels. I think we're gonna leave everything like it is for the matchstick on snapshot one. We're gonna bring down the drive on the orange amp. Let's see what that sounds like. That sounds pretty good, but if you're listening through headphones, it sounds like the matchstick is a little quieter, and I wanna bump the volume up without bumping up any more gain, because I want it to be clean, so I'm gonna bump this channel volume up, maybe all the way, let's see. Honestly, all the way sounds good, so let's save that. Now let's go to snapshot two and make some changes. So we'll go up here, snapshot two. Now whatever we do in snapshot two, as long as we save it, when we go back to snapshot one, back to snapshot two, we'll see the changes that we made. All right, so we're gonna increase our drive a little bit on the matchstick. We're gonna bring the cut up to like one and a half. We're also gonna bring the presence up to about one and a half. We'll boost the treble just a little bit, just to say we did. Uh, we were at 10, I'm gonna bring it back down I think to eight, now that we're bringing the drive up. Let's save that. And I also wanna bring the drive up. We were down here earlier. I wanna bring the drive up on the Mandarin to 6.3. Let's save that as well. Now this is our new tone. Let's go back to snapshot one. You can see how a lot of things on the screen changed. See how the orange amp changes, make sure everything's working right. That sounds really good. All right, now let's go to snapshot three and make some further changes. We're gonna bump up the drive on the orange amp to 7.5. On the matchstick, we're gonna increase our drive, 6.7 is what I had. I also wanna bring up the cut again to like two and a half or so. I have a little bit more presence and bring this treble up to um, right there. We'll keep the channel volume at eight. Now, if you didn't want to have to remember this, you could like copy and paste the settings to each preset, but I have them written down, so it's not that big a deal. But if you were like, oh, what did I have on the last preset? You can copy your preset from, um, no, you can copy your amp. You can copy your amp parameters from like snapshot two, copy them into snapshot three and make your adjustments from there. Let's save that. And this is snapshot three. Heavy, I like it. All right, snapshot one. Snapshot two. Snapshot three. All right, that sounds pretty good. Now let's add a reverb. I like to add uh, we don't have much room. I, I think once we add this reverb, we are done. But let's add a plate reverb. Now, same thing. I wanna change the decay and the mix with the snapshots. So decay, snapshots, mix, snapshots. Let's save that. Now that's too wet. So snapshot one, let's bring the decay back to like 1.8. Once it's down that low, we can bring the mix up just a hair. I like the way that sounds. Let's save that. Snapshot two, let's do that again. Let's just keep it that way, 1.8. We'll keep those both the same. Save that. Now, snapshot three, let's make it a little bit more ambient in case this is like a lead line or something. We'll put this one at like 5.1 and somewhere around 45% wet. Now, let's go back to snapshot one. And here is our tone. Well, let's look and see if it worked. Reverb. Snapshot two, it stays the same. Snapshot three, it goes up. So here's our tones all the way through. Also like to set the bypass for the reverb on our last foot switch. 
which is really cool about using, um, let me save that, really cool about using snapshots to change parameters that you can save these foot switches to um, do something else, like turn it on and off. So my snapshots are adjusting parameters on my amps and my reverb, and then I can turn things on and off with the switch that I have on the stomp. Now you can see if I try to add anything else, everything is blacked out, we've used up all of our DSP. But I think this patch would work out well for anybody who is running maybe some overdrives in front of this preset, or you could get rid of this reverb and add a delay, maybe even get rid of the EQ and reverb and add a delay if that's what you want. Um, let's hear how this patch sounds with um, my overdrive pedal. It's the broken arrow, lowest gain setting. Here's our clean tone. Snapshot two. Overdrive off. Snapshot three. Boost. Pretty good. Snapshot two. <laughs> Snapshot three, get a little more reverb. All right, well that about wraps it up. I think that sounds good like it is. When you get this patch in the Expanse pack, foot switch one will be just like it is on the delay so you can hear the difference. Foot switch two will be on the reverb and foot switch three will be the EQ block at the end. If you don't have an external MIDI device to scroll through your snapshots, you can just put your stomp in snapshot mode. Um, this, this preset would work well with that or you could just sign up for the giveaway. Don't forget the Christmas giveaway to win this little Robbie Pilot MIDI controller. It, it scrolls through snapshots for you. Snapshot one, two, three. You can also access your tap and tuner right there. Don't forget to go sign up. If you like this video and you like these kind of preset builds, let me know by saying, yes, I do, down in the comments. That'll let me know you like it. Also, you could hit the like button. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the little notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. I think that's all I have for today. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.